Welcome to the Light Home Review for the Eurofans Atlanta fan. Now the Eurofans Atlanta fan is the smallest fan that we stock and it's the smallest fan that Eurofans make as well. If you want to ship it abroad, the box measures 40 by 21 by 25 centimetres and it weighs approximately 5.8 kilos with all the packaging. Without the packaging it weighs 5.3 kilos so it's nice and light and being a 30 inch diameter fan it's perfect for smaller installations such as box rooms and small bedrooms. Now the Atlanta comes in two finishes, it comes in a white version and a brushed nickel version. The white version comes with white blades, the brushed nickel version comes with dark oak blades. This is the white version. The Atlanta comes with a five year manufacturer's motor warranty and it has three speeds, slow, medium and fast. So what we'll do, we'll open it up, take a little look at the pieces and we'll show you what you get. So as normal, use a sharp knife to snip the tape off the box. Mind your fingers when you do it and lift the flaps up so when you cut down the middle you don't catch the ceiling fan blades underneath. Okay. And lift out the polystyrene tray. Now, this is a 30 inch fan obviously as we mentioned. So you get a small set of blades, obviously these are the white ones because it's the white fan. And you get a pack of screws and bolts to attach the actual fan to the blade carriers. Which come in a neat little pack, they're very simple in design. They attach to the motor of the fan and the blades attached to the blade carriers. You also get a drop rod. Now the Atlanta can be fitted with a drop rod or without. It could be flush to the ceiling or you can use the rod. This is a 4 inch rod. It's 22 millimeters in diameter. But you can buy longer rods if you want to. There are 12, 18, 30, 48 and even 72 inch rods available on the website. But this is the 4 inch version. Pre-fitted with the board joint and the split pin to save you the hassle. And as always with Fantasia and Euro fans, you get a self-balancing kit as well. So unusual would have a wobble, but if you do have a wobble, there's a little set there to help you straighten the fan out. There's a little set of instructions as well. So that's all in the top tray. Looking at the bottom tray, we move that aside. In there, we get the cover again for the light fitting. These are available as a spare part in case you accidentally break yours. There we go. Fits at the bottom of the fan, like so, as you would expect. And also, in there, is the motor housing. There we go. Take it out of its bag. There. As we explained, it's a dinky fan. It can be fitted flush, like we mentioned. It's got actual attachments to go directly to the ceiling. Or, you can alternate it and put the drop rod on it. There we are. We have the reverse switch on the side of the fan, if you want to recirculate hot air trapped at ceiling level from your central heating. And at the bottom of the fan, is a lamp holder for the light that would normally go into the shade. This one is an SES screw cap, so you can put a candle or a golf ball or some kind of bulb like that. You can fit LED if you want to, that's not a problem, or incandescent or halogen versions. Being a standard fan, it doesn't have a remote control. It is pull cord operated. There are long cords in the pack to help you. One cord turns on the light, one cord turns on the motor. Both the motor and the light can work independently from each other. And if you do want a remote control, you can buy as an accessory and it would fit inside the top of the fan here. So that's pretty much what you get. It's a simple fan. You obviously get also a full set of fitting instructions, as you'd expect. Although you can get a digital copy of those instructions on our website and our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash home. But if you're looking for a small fan to fit in a box room, or you have very limited space, but you still want some kind of air movement, then consider the Eurofans Atlanta. We hold it in stock at Light Home. It's not going to do a job for you fitting into a conservatory. Don't think that you're going to be able to move a lot of air in a very hot place like that. That would be more of a 42 inch or a 54 inch kind of fan. But if you've got limited space and you want a fan, then I seriously consider the Atlanta fan. All versions of the Atlanta fan are available on our website, lighterhome.net, and if this video has been useful and informative, then please like it. Thank you.